much turmoil was created. When COVID-19 hit the world in 2019, many lives were lost and many lost their jobs. I'm one of those who almost lost their jobs due to the COVID-19. I carry on the tradition of Japanese kimonos. And at that time, I had the worst feeling that not only my job, but also kimonos may be lost. This led me to ponder deeply about my work, and I felt the urgent need to tell you more about the beauty of kimonos and traditions. That is why I'm here today. So, what do you imagine when you hear the word inherit? When people think of keeping traditions, it sometimes feels like a constraint. But traditions are simply the set of customs and cultures that we acquire naturally from generation to generation. Sometimes they change slowly, but they could change drastically. There are times they refuse to change and perish, or times they remain unchanged and are preserved and pass on to the next generation. For me, a tradition I wish to pass on is the wearing of the kimono. I learned all about the kimonos, which have been handed down from generation to generation in Japan. I'm proud to be involved in the kimono dressing school that my mother started so that I can pass on the unique aspect of Japanese culture through my own family. Let me introduce you the person who taught me importance of inheritance and who has been a mentor in my life, my mother. The kimono is a wonderful part of Japanese culture that we are proud to share with the world. Let me explain a little about the kimonos. The kimono is a traditional item of clothing that has not changed its shape for the past 200 years. They are very beautiful garments that both convey the feeling of the seasons and enable the wearer to show their individuality by selecting different patterns, colors, and with very delicate dyeing techniques, bring more than 2,130 different colors to life. The elegance ensured by these precise techniques is such that the kimono is likened to a jewel. Here are some kimonos. This kimono and the kimono I'm wearing now have been used for 40 years. And they were passed down to me by my mother. The kimono my mother is wearing was also worn by my grandmother.
The reason most kimono are expensive is not only because the silk is expensive, but also because they are treated respectfully as an asset that can be passed down from generation to generation. A kimono made of silk, linen, or cotton can be taken apart and resized. Kimonos have been environmentally conscious, recyclable, and sustainable garment for a very long time. The kimono can be worn and reused across the generations. This is the very reason why they have been inherited for many years. Kimonos are my focus because traditional culture is something to be preserved and inherited. Unfortunately, the preservation of kimono is currently under threat. Because of the popularity of fast fashion, there is a lack of successes and decreasing opportunities to wear kimonos. However, the biggest reason kimonos are under threat is because of the difficulty of wearing kimonos properly. To tell you the truth, the art of wearing kimono properly is difficult even for Japanese people. Unfortunately, wearing kimonos is not as easy as wearing Western clothes, especially if you are not used to handling them, or if you haven't memorized the steps. Many people have told me that they would like to wear kimonos more often if they could wear it easily, more comfortably, by themselves. So my mother and I gradually came to wish for the kimono to change and become familiar enough that anyone can pass them on for generation to come. A kimono should not be too tight should be easy to wear and should be enjoyed without having to be overly concerned with detailed rules. This is ideal way of wearing kimono in the future. I want to make it easier for anyone to wear kimono so we would be able to share this wonderful part of our culture with more people around the world. Recently, I have seen many people walking around the street of Japan wearing lentil kimono, which is wonderful to see. If people all around the world understand and love kimonos, then they can inherit a part of Japanese culture. What if there were a magical kimono that you could put on in three minutes? What if you could wait easily without knowing how to tie and obey? This was the case. Wouldn't you want to try one on right away? I'm committed to passing down this tradition while accommodating for changes. Kimonos are not for a select few, nor are they a dying garment. 
but rather a tradition to be shared with a wide range of people and generation beyond the borders of family. This is what it means to me to inherit a tradition. All people can wear kimonos. It is not cultural appropriation. Thank you very much.